December 15th, 2022. I am 14 years old. I am 17 years old. I have 279 on my main channel and 22 on my second channel. I currently have 2,317 subscribers. Ooh, my favorite color right now is probably like green, which is kind of weird, but I like green. <laughs> Right now, my favorite color is probably like a forest green or lavender or even like a dark blue. Not like a navy blue, but like a dark muted blue. Does that make literally any sense? Billie Eilish. Okay, of all time, Billie Eilish. At the moment, it's gonna be Nessa Perry. My favorite YouTuber at the moment would have to be Alicia Marie. Alicia Marie. <laughs> and Remy. I've been watching both of them since I was literally like nine years old, 10 years old, and they've been my favorite YouTubers all these years. And I don't really see that changing, to be fully honest. <laughs> my favorite song right now is Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. Favorite song right now would probably be either Die First or Love Bomb by Nessa Bear. My best friend at the moment would probably be Maya, Tori, Mason, and Sabrina. <laughs> Mason, Sabrina, Carissa, Rachel, and Evan. TikTok followers. <laughs> I have 87 TikTok followers. I have 1,636 TikTok followers. The most important thing to me right now would be I'm trying to figure my life out. I feel like I'm kind of sad right now and I <gasps> don't want to be sad. I want 2020 to be my year. <laughs> I really had no idea literally what was coming at all. The fact that I was even feeling like sad in this video compared to like what ends up happening in the next few years um, is funny. It's not funny, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, most important thing right now, uh, I mean, uh, keeping myself alive. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I know that sounds so like dark and depressing, but there was genuinely a period where I like didn't think I was going to like be here anymore. Um, I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm really insecure about like my body or anything about <laughs> it. Um, probably just like, I don't know. I just don't like myself like at all. Like I look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Poor kid. So much pain and he didn't even know. Biggest insecurity now? I mean, pfft, let me just pull out like my diary of like everything that I literally hate about myself. <laughs> I mean, if we want to get specific, like hair, skin, face, nose, body, eyes, the list goes on, you know what I mean? I have met zero fans. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I went to VidCon this year and there were a few people that stopped me and they were like, I watch your videos, I know who you are. So that was cool. I don't know if I would classify that as like meeting a fan, but I mean, people like knew who I was, which was very weird. I am over the trend of fake hoes. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. No, I- well, it's kind of a trend, not gonna lie. I am over people at my age doing, like, inappropriate things like jeweling and smoking and sleeping with you. Like, that's not cute. Like, at all. Like, I know so many kids at my school that are vaping. And, like, that's not cute at all. Stop. Yeah, he was very opinionated about that, for sure. I mean, I still kind of feel the same way. I guess it's just, now that I'm older, I've kind of just gotten to a point where I'm just like, 
I don't really care what other people are doing. Like, it's your life. You can do whatever you want. You can smoke whatever you want. And like, I don't know. It's not really any of my business. My lowest point in 2019 was probably in April when I um, was on Twitter and things just started, when I was on Twitter and things just started getting really bad and I was getting like bullied a lot on Twitter and like people would make like Instagram posts about me and like crossing my face out and like it was really sad and I like genuinely wanted to like die with like and I like I know that's like I know I know people like all the time are like oh my god I want to die like I want to kill myself but I like I, I actually Yeah, I I remember that. That was, I mean, Twitter is no place for a 14 year old, but yeah, I definitely, I remember that. And that was very, very difficult for me at the time. But, you know, looking back, I'm just kind of like, it wasn't really that deep. Like, I feel like I just needed to be like tougher, I guess, and just not get so hurt by what other people say. I say that now as if I still am not extremely sensitive and get hurt by like what other people say to me. I mean, the whole past two years have been kind of just like the lowest point for me, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I guess if we're gonna get like technical, the lowest point was for sure when I was in the hospital because I literally just wanted to kill myself. Um, I feel like that's a pretty low point to be honest. I've been to like, I've only been to VidCons and stuff, so I've never like, I mean, I met YouTubers, but I know a lot of people like get really pissed off when they're like, when they say celebrities are YouTubers. The biggest YouTuber I've met, probably David Dobrik. I don't really know who the biggest person I've met is. I met Nessa Barrett like two months ago. I feel like she's transferring over from like influencer to like mainstream celeb status singer. I met Charlie D'Amelio. Honestly, just a tip is just like make videos that you like. I'm still struggling with trying to figure out what I want to do with my channel and what videos I want to make. Just make videos you like and be yourself because that's all you can really do. I guess I would say now, I don't know. Just make videos that you yourself enjoy watching. Like I know I've made a good YouTube video if I like want to rewatch it like a ton of times before I even like post it. You know what I mean? I hope I... My dream is to be a famous YouTuber, but that's obviously not going to happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> I hope in a year I'm happy, like genuinely happy doing online school because I hate public school. It's literally so annoying. <laughs> oh my God, I did not. Well, <laughs> it's a little more than a year later. I hate to break it to you. You're not a famous YouTuber. I wouldn't say you're quite happy yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think happy is the word I would use to describe me now. God, I cannot even believe that I said that I just wanted to do online school. I mean, it was true at the time. I really wanted to do online school because I just hated being like in person school, which, you know, that aged interestingly. <laughs> the app I use the most is probably TikTok. Probably YouTube. Or I guess lately, probably my editing apps because Vlogmas. As of right now, my biggest thing I'm struggling with is probably my YouTube channel. I have such a big passion for it and I have since I was nine. Like everything. <laughs> I mean, I feel pretty good about my YouTube channel right now, to be honest. So I guess that's growth from this kid. I guess the biggest thing I'm struggling with now is just like mental health stuff. Aiden Watson, in a year, you will be 15 years old. You will also be a sophomore. I hope you're happier. 2020 Aiden was a lot happier than I was 2019 Aiden. I hope you have found your self-worth because it's there. You just gotta find it. I hope you met Billie Eilish and Alicia Marie because I know how much they mean to you. I hope you're still friends with Mason and Sabrina because I know how much you love them. I hope you attended VidCon because I know how much you love that damn event. God. And I hope you are living your best life right now and I wish you the best. Oh God, okay. Well, it's a little more than a year later. Let's see, um, not quite a famous YouTuber. That's okay. I did not meet Billie Eilish. However, I have seen her twice in concert and I'm literally gonna see her again in like a week, which is... <laughs> I did meet Alicia again. I met her like two months ago for the first time since 
like literally 2019 and she was literally just so incredibly sweet she's been so supportive of me and my youtube channel and she even said that she watches my youtube videos which is literally insane like this aiden over here if i were to tell him that alicia marie would be watching his videos he would flip his shit he would flip his shit i'm still friends with mason and sabrina i went to the billy show and the nessa show with mason i've gone to disneyland with sabrina multiple times we all went to vidcon this year speaking of vidcon they actually invited me this year they gave me a free ticket a free hotel they played my video at one of their events I mean, a lot of cool things have happened in the past few years. I don't even know what to say to myself in a year. <laughs> you will be 18. You will have graduated high school. I hope you're doing good, kid, you know? Current Aiden is so incredibly scared about the future and what I'm gonna do in the future and how it's going to play out. But I hope everything's good. I more so just hope that in a year, everything is chill and okay and that I'm maybe doing a little bit better, so.